During the Civil War, the Fort Pitt Foundry produced nearly 1,200 guns, 60% of the Union's cannons. Located across the street from the History Center on Smallman Street, here in Pittsburgh's Strip District, the Fort Pitt Foundry manufactured ordnance, cannonballs, and guns for the war effort. In 1864, the Fort Pitt Foundry produced the world's largest cast iron cannon. Thomas Jackson Rodman, a Union Army general and inventor, developed the innovative production process for the big gun. Rodman served as the superintendent of Allegheny Arsenal before the Civil War. He's the one credited with inventing a new process for casting large cannons. Before the Civil War, large cannons had a tendency to blow up. In one tragic accident, the Secretary of the Navy was killed when a brand new cannon was tested aboard the U.S. warship Princeton. Rodman determined to devise a new casting technique that would allow for casting large cannons and make them safe for the gun crews. His innovation was that he would cool the guns from the inside out by pumping water through a core plug. This would allow the castings to cool evenly. The crystallized interior, which was traditionally soft and weak, was now hard. Rodman's guns could be loaded with tremendous powder charges and withstand the large pressures needed to hurl a cannonball of more than a thousand pound weight more than four and a half miles. Rodman's cannons were amazing. Abraham Lincoln was interested in a super gun that would frighten European powers from America's territorial waters. A gun like the Rodman 20-inch Columbiad could kill a ship with one shot. Guns of this period were not very accurate. They couldn't plunge a ball through the deck of a ship. They needed to skip it a 1,080-pound round ball could skip at the waterline and pierce the hull of a ship through and through. Rodman's 20-inch Columbiad required 80 tons of molten iron and a four-piece mold. Once completed, the 20-foot-long cannon and its carriage weighed nearly 90 tons. It could hurl 20-inch cannonballs nearly four and a half miles. If fired from the History Center in the Strip District, the cannonballs could easily reach McKees Rocks Bridge, the Cathedral of Learning at the University of Pittsburgh, or the Allegheny Observatory on the north side. The giant Rodman cannon was placed at Fort Hamilton at the Verrazano Narrows in New York. A second 20-inch gun was placed across the harbor at Fort Hancock, New Jersey. The Rodman cannon was test-fired with live ammunition four times during the war, though never in combat. During one test fire, the cannonball struck the water, throwing up showers of spray as large as a ship. The Rodman cannon's massive scale was a response to new technology, a coastal defense weapon capable of firing a cannonball with enough force to pierce metal hulls. As part of the History Center's Pennsylvania Civil War exhibition, researchers created an exact replica of the big gun, utilizing cutting-edge 3D printing technology. The Rodman cannon reproduction spans 26 feet, with a barrel length of 20 feet, including the carriage and steel support beams. It weighs a total of nine tons, with a barrel circumference of 16 feet at the preponderance, the largest point of the gun. The lower portion is solid iron, but the upper portion is made using 3D printing technology stuck together with fiberglass. Even the replica weighs nine tons. The original weighed 90 tons. <laughs> 